Hello viewers, welcome to Techno Result. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the TPM version from 1.2 to 2.0 in HP laptop or else desktop. So if you are using HP laptop or else desktop, first of all, you need to check the TPM manufacturer name. To check the TPM manufacturer name, just open the run command and type tpm.msc and then you will get this console under the TPM management console. You can find the TPM manufacturer name like INTZ or else IFX. So there are two types of TPM chips available in HP uh, products. Some of the HP products are coming with uh, uh, Intel TPM chips and some of the products, HP products are coming with uh, Infineon TPM chips. So if your laptop is showing as INTZ, that means uh, your laptop is having the Intel TPM chips. If your laptop is showing as IFX, uh, IFX, then your laptop is having the Infineon TPM chip. If your laptop having Infineon TPM chip, I have given the link in the description. You can click on the link and you can find the list of products uh, that have that having the TPM, Infineon TPM chip. Uh, from here, you can uh, just look for your product uh, name and then download the appropriate TPM version. For example, HP Elite Book 1040Z4, the TPM 2.0, you can find the TPM configuration utility. Just click on the link and download the configuration utility and then you need to install the utility the utility installation is very simple and straightforward that's it once you install the configuration utility you can find the folder in your c drive open the c drive and look for the sw setup and open the sw setup under here, you need to open SP87753 folder. Under the folder, you can find the TPM config uh, exe file. If you are using 64-bit operating system, then you can run this exe file, 64 exe file, and then you can update the TPM version. So note, before upgrading the TPM, make sure your if you if your uh, hard disk is already encrypted um, encrypted make sure you are suspending it or else you need to decrypt the hard disk before upgrading the tpm chip as per the hp recommendation uh, you need to decrypt the hard disk before updating your tpm version so uh, I am not able to show you how to uh, update because uh, my laptop is not supported for this because the if I run this uh, exe file I am getting this error the TPM firmware cannot be updated because the TPM is not an uh, Infineon TPM because these configuration utility will support only for the Infineon TPM chips. Um, in the same folder itself, you can find the PDF file. Under this PDF file, you can find the find the instruction to update the version. So once you run the TPM configuration utility, you will get this page. Uh, you need to uh, click on the warning and then proceed with the next. And then you will get uh, these uh, these screens once you update you will get the success message so this is for the infineon tpm chip so if your hp laptop is having infineon tpm chip then you can use the tpm configuration utility so these are the laptop models that are having infineon tpm if your laptop is having INTC, that means Intel TPM chip, then the updating uh, method is completely different. I'm just I'm just searching for INTC TPM firmware update. Um, 
in the search result you can see the download search intel.com just open this link this link i have given in the description if you are having intz intel tpm chip then you can uh, you can download the tool and the detail instruction to how to update the Intel TPM chip. Uh, I'm just right, -click on, right clicking on the PDF. I'm just showing you. Uh, this PDF contains the detail instruction to update the TPM firmware. I'm not showing you this method because uh, my TPM chip is already updated. But this PDF a file contains the detail instruction uh, you just need to download the firmware update bio next you need to copy that uh, bio file to the usb and then you need to restart your system and then you need to press f7 continuously under the boot up bios update screen you will see the usb flash drive and select the bio file like this and then you will get a warning screen click on s to continue and that's it your tpm will be update automatically so if you are going to try this method make sure you are decrypting your hard disk first and then make sure your bios is completely fully updated to recent version uh, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel